Instantly trade your skins on skin.trade. Hey guys, welcome back welcome. to the channel. Today we just got a new fucking update, and you would be surprised to think that it's even good. Because <laughs> it's. It depends on if you own this weapon. What they did today, what Valve has done today, is that they decided to go ahead and say, hey, you know that in a Gev and fucking R8? Remember how we made that really overpowered? Let's put that into CSGO. Let's just, let, I, I'm gonna guess they put it in there for like an entire week and still screw things up. But what it says here, for a limited time, the R8 and then Gev will be enabled in competitive matchmaking in order to evaluate their impact. They're not going to be in there forever, guys. They're still going to adjust them. But the community market has gone way out of control with this and overreacted. Apparently, uh, Mac users, I'm sorry, but your sound is messed up. I've seen it by more than just one person, though. Ritz is the only person. It's on the main front page, but you can see that. A lot of people are talking about it and actually went through it, and yeah, they fucked up the sound. Also, it's the same thing for uh, other users. It's uh, they ju It just resets the sound for others, but if you're on a Mac, then your sound may just not work. You should go into the files and fix that. I think you're able to do that still play online. But, I mean, it's just gone way out of control. I'm actually looking up right now. Stat track stuff is rising because <laughs> a stat track will raise. Uh, let's see here. Uh... R8 Factory New has already gone up to $11.54. Uh, and all the good ones have been taken off for a cheap price. But if we go to the week, yeah, it's just rising even more and more. Uh, the, the highest price on the first page is $13. It normally is like around 8 or 7 It's normally what it is, and people are, oh god, it's got bad. Uh, if you guys actually look here... I still have two weapons, Bessie the Beast, Full Metal Alchemist, and the R8 is going to get a new name because I like this one, but I'm going to replace it with a better one. But we go in to inspect it. Uh, the wear value for mine is, point zero point, is point zero 0.058, which is pretty good, which is why it was a lot higher priced than a lot of the others. Still want to get like a lot of these little specs off right here because they're kind of bothering me. But uh, what else about it is that uh, the pattern template is 819. I believe 5... Two two or something. It was like a higher. I know it was nine sixteen. If you get a pattern template of nine sixteen, you're in gold at that point. But uh, if we go on to here, it's now available in competitive. So I just want to talk about this. We'll go into a dust two match. But uh, I'm gonna point out they haven't changed it. When they said, "Oh, we'll take it out of competitive for a while so we can adjust it." I don't think they've actually changed it to the fact that it's actually been noticeably changed. But what has been changed about it is basically the firing rate, you know, left click. Normal stuff like that. I'm going to this side. But uh, the Negev and the R8 are now in competitive. I can actually select Negev. Uh, Negev is still the same. Uh, I think it's gone up to. Okay, so the Ningev, it has the first three shots are accurate. Okay, so that's what they changed about the Ningev. The first three shots are accurate. And then you have to reload it. But the first three shots of the reloaded weapon. So we go ahead and reload it here. Uh, they have changed a little bit, and it's actually been dynamic. So as you can see, the first shot is immediately accurate, and then the rest is like normal. Because people would like do the first taps like that, and now and then it just goes crazy. And then right when you get to the point, yeah, it's like after a while, the first few shots, it's, it has a spray pattern actually. Right when you first shoot it, yeah, it's significantly been buffed. Yeah, you can still move it down. There, it's like it's random if you can get it though. Yeah, it's been like the first five shots, I believe, or three shots. The R8 has n nothing's been changed about it. The, I believe walking back and forth has uh, just been the same as always. Jumping up and down is still the most accurate crossing gun. Yeah, it's quite bad. 
Obviously, I got the fade here, so I can sell it for higher money and get something even better. Mine's got a good value on it. The 818. 819 is the one I got. 918 is one of the best, one of the best I believe, that you can get. People are still using it like crazy as well. It's just, it's gone into one of those modes where, like, you can't not use it. It's too good. Obviously, my playing with it isn't as good as you may think it is. Also, I don't know if the sound's really bad for you. I'll turn it down a tiny bit. But I think it should be fine for you. Uh, yeah, it's it's quite bad. <laughs> Unless you own one, then it's good. But otherwise, the prices for this is going to raise. It, the Glock fade rose. Because it's the Glock and it's the first weapon. People are like, oh, that's really bad because it's right on a sucky weapon. Well, if they put it in competitive like the way it is, it's and people know actually how to use it, it raises in price, obviously seen by the Glock Fade, and especially since it only had one a certain type. If they were to take away, like, the ability for this gun to be bad, and just just completely ruin the entire gameplay again, I don't want to say ruin, but it's true. If they ruin it because of this R8, it's going to be bad for the price, because the price is going to rise immediately. You won't be able to get a good Fade, even on a bad gun, for anything cheaper like normal or what you used to do it's not like that anymore. it's completely it's another fade that's overpriced it's just on like a shittier weapon which isn't that shit anymore it's actually so they get, i don't know what to think about it you can still they made it to where like when you do go to somewhere if there's a person there you can still shoot at them and do it in there it's a lot quicker to get ready but their post actually said if we can actually get on a game now Last thing I want to talk about is their post. It says, over the past few weeks, we've, wa we've watched players use the newly adjusted weapons in the casual game modes, and the next step is to try them out in competitive environment. I understand, but ha I, I understand, but you do realize that you need to have this for a limited time, like you say. Don't put it in there for a month like you did with casual. It's going to ruin everything. It'll give them enough time to rank up with it. We expect that Ngev will be a situational weapon that will require experimentation on the parts team, so the starting point at price has been lowered significantly. We'll go into casual here real quick, if I can go offline with bots. Uh, we'll just go casual, whatever, overpass. No bots. So when you go into a game, I don't know if they kept the price the way it was, because it was 4000 Literally just 4000 The price... Of an M4. And if you... You can get an M4. Uh, your grenade set. And then armor. I don't know if you can get armor with a helmet. I think you could. If you didn't... If you, you went for cheaper grenades. But I think you could get a regular Kevlar. And then like... Two or three grenades. Or three or two grenades. You know, no, three or four grenades. But if we look here... It's $2,000! Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's viable on pistol round. No, wait. Actually, I think you started out with six. It was 750. Hold on. What? Oh, hold on. Offline with bots? Oh, no. Fucking... Where's in? Where is Dust Two? There it is. I don't know how much money. You, I think it's six hundred and fifty dollars you start out with on uh, on competitive. So maybe you still can't get it on first round, because it would still be a one shot. It's basically the. Oh, it's basically an overpowered deagle. The Negev's raising in price. I know this for a fact. It's literally a laser gun. If it's two thousand and it's a laser gun, huh. <laughs> Your cheap little skins that were like 12 bucks for like a super rare red. No! No! You start out with 800 bucks in competitive and you can buy the revolver. It's a one shot body shot without armor. A one shot headshot with armor. A one shot pelvis shot without armor. A one shot leg shot without armor. A one shot le arm shot without armor. A long shot toe shot. But it's a one shot wherever you shoot.
they they changed the prices. That's all they've done. When they watch people play in casual, all they changed was the price. You can literally buy both of these weapons. In competitive. And that's all you need to do. Who thought this was a good idea? Hold on. Ah. Disabled when you are alive. I'm not alive though. I don't know how. I think the fucking deagle's still the same. Dude. Fuck it with the trash. Ah, ah. Disabled when you're alive. What the hell, mate? Okay, well. Wow, that's so dumb. You ha it's basically forcing you to buy armor on the first round. Wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to end it there because I don't want to go over 10 minutes like I just did. It's for 11 minutes, so. Yeah, uh. That's stupid. Let's just say Valve is fucked up and can't wait to see you guys in competitive because I know I'm gonna be right buying the revolver every round. <laughs> See y'all guys next time, and, uh, we're still recording, so you guys can, uh, ooh. I hit my neck, ow. <laughs> but yeah, we're still recording, and just remember, stay frosty. Call me safe and your G. I won't quit the end of first.